Hi, everybody. Uh, kind of a surprise stream today, but fairly certain nobody will mind. I'm fairly certain. Fairly certain, fairly certain. Uh, ba 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 ba. Wumpa ba. Wumpa bum ba ba. Wumpa bum bum ba. You know how it is, how it is. Uh, business as usual. More Paper Mario. <laughs> So last time, last time, guys, last time, all we did was the prologue because I got super tired, but I'm probably not gonna today. I took a big long nap. Not really, but I'm feeling a little more into and a little more energetic today. So hopefully, hopefully today we can play for a little longer, Tiki. Mister, you're a customer, aren't you? Dad's preparing to open the shop soon, so I guess you gotta wait a little while. Okay. Guess we'll wait for next time. Can't believe the Princess Pieces of Castle was here just a little while ago. Wow! I was in the castle when I started to shake, but my light and quick feet got me out. I know Luigi made it out along with maybe a few others. But everyone else was taken. Let's go to Merlu's place, guys. Hmm. Frame rate dips. Stuttering for no reason, other than it's a fucking N64 game and has terrible rendering problems. Apparently rendering the N64 is just notoriously difficult. This spot is a little tight for fortune telling. If you want your fortune, I'll talk to me over the counter. What if I go upstairs instead? I'm the famous Remer Lois to Shooting Star Summit. I collect star pieces out of the biggest collection. Mister, you have any star pieces? I'll swap cool badges. Uh, I don't know how many I got. I have three. I mean, all of those will be good, but I don't want any of them. If Memhari serves correct, yep, there it is. There was a little secret here. Welcome, Mario. We've been waiting for you. We're the Seven Star Spirits. Our job is to grant wishes of good people from our home in Star Haven, a place high beyond the sky. I'm going to tell you something incredibly important. Please listen carefully. The other day, Bowser and his followers invaded our peaceful Star Haven. They stole our prized treasure, the Star Rod, which we cared for since the beginning of time. Star Rod is powerful beyond belief, it can grant any wish. For as long as we can remember, Bowser has been making wishes like, for instance, I'd like to trounce Mario, or I want Princess Peach to like me. Of course, stars ignore such selfish wishes. 
As a result, his wishes were never granted. Bowser, that fiend. When he found out that we were ignoring his wishes, he came and stole the Star Rod so he could grant his own wishes. He seems content right now, mainly because he's defeated you and captured the princess. Soon enough, though, I fear he will wish for more, and then terrible things will happen. It is the responsibility of the seven star spirits to keep the star rod safe and use it properly. We must get the star rod back from Bowser and return it to its rightful place. And in order to do this, Mario, we need your help. Sadly, right now you are not strong enough to challenge Bowser. He has made himself all powerful by making wishes with the star rod. He's terrible to behold. Once we seven star spirits are reunited in Star Haven, we can give you the power to fight Bowser, even with his newfound strength. With our help, you can prevail. Mario, we are... Dying. Alas, we nearly exhausted our power to talk to you. Although it looks like we're there beside you, it is only an illusion. We're using all of our strength to communicate you with over a great distance, but even now our strength is fading. We've been caught in our being held by Bowser's followers in different places throughout the Mushroom Kingdom. Please, Mario, first of all... You must rescue us. In order to take the Star Rod back from Bowser and save Princess Peach, we need your help. Please, Mario, you are our last hope and we will. Mario, it looks like things are a lot more serious than I thought. You think the princess is going to be alright? I'm really worried about her. Save L. Continue. Okay, so maybe I lied, Tiki. Maybe this might be closer to the end of the prologue. Mario's probably hurt. Or worse, dead. Everyone's in prison. The Mushroom Kingdom will be destroyed if things continue the way they're going. Something must be done. If only someone could help with it. <laughs> Ours are here. My dear Princess Peach, how are you doing this fine day? It's no use waiting for Mario this time, my dear. We're so high above the sky right now, even Mario doesn't have a chance of reaching us up here. You know, Princess, as long as I have this star rod, no one in the Mushroom Kingdom can touch me. You know that power that grants everyone's wishes? It's mine. Isn't that just wonderful? Yeah, <laughs> imagine what it's like down in your kingdom. Your subjects must be so upset because their wishes aren't being granted. Oh, how delightful. They deserve it for the way they've treated us Koopas over the years. If you, you know, want anything, all you need to do is ask me, Princess. I can grant wishes. Of course, I'll only grant requests that I like. Anyway, thanks about it. think about it. You take care, Princess Beach. Enjoy your stay here. <laughs> you watch it now, Princess. Why don't I cause trouble? Bleh. <laughs> Oh, please, if only somebody could help me. Hmm? Hello, Princess Peach. Pleased to meet you. My name is Twink. But you're, you're a star kid, aren't you? How'd you get here? I came from Star Haven to grant your wish. Our job to grant wishes, you know. Oh, you came because I wished that somebody could help me? Yes, of course. Well, that's just great. Thank you so much for coming. Here's my wish. Go right now and take that star rod back from Bowser, okay? Think you can do it? Guys, sorry, that's a little much for a novice star like me. Maybe one of those honorable star spirits from Starhaven can grant a wish like that. I'm, I'm so sorry. Please, ask for something easy. Something a small star can do. Then, can you take me away from here? Everyone in my castle has been captured, and I have to save them all as soon as possible. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't grant that wish either, I'm afraid. Actually, I just got called up to the sky a day ago, so I can't do big wishes yet. If I were a more splendid star, maybe I could actually help. It's alright. Don't be sad, Twink. Mario will definitely do something to save us all. He's probably coming right now. Hi, Super. Yes, their name is Twink. Uh, it's a very fun. It's very funny. No, 
Oh, Twink, do you think you can find Mario? I want you to give this to him. Oh, this is a lucky star, isn't it? Okay, I'll do it, Princess Peach. I'll fly to the Mushroom Kingdom just as quick as I can. I think the lucky star is what gives the action commands better action commandiness. Very funny. Very cuzzy. Please tell Mario that. I'm fine and he shouldn't worry, okay? Can you tell him that? Of course, I'll tell him your exact words, Princess Peach. Definitely. Now, don't despair. I'll be back soon, so stay safe until I return. Okie doke. Sorry, sorry, so sorry. I'm in a huge hurry. Wait a minute. Oh, it's... You're Mario, aren't you? Thanks, thank the stars I found you. How do you do? I'm Twink. Princess Peach asked me to bring something to you. Uh, yes, here it is. Here, this is it. Take it. Yeah, this lets me do the action command. I got the lucky star. That's a lucky star from Princess Peach. Now that it's yours, you can use the action command. May I take a moment to explain what the action command is? No, I think I know what an action command is. This is important, Mario. I think you'll want to know about this. No, I've played a game before. Oh, okay, great. I don't even have to explain. Once you understand how to use the action command properly, you'll be even more powerful. Terrific, you'll be much tougher in battle now. Here you are. Me <laughs> What? It can't be. Were you following me? What a foolish star kid. I knew that if I followed you, I'd find Mario. If I defeat Mario right now, I'll be famous. I'll tell Kami Koopa. She'll shower me with praise. She'll give me a raise. Here I come. Alright, I'm gonna L yump. Bonk. Alright, I don't... Apparently, I'm unfamiliar with how the... Action command game... Action commands in this game work. I had to play the game for a little bit. Well done, Mario. You're as strong as they say. I know they'll be able to defeat Bowser. I'm gonna return to the Princess Peach's side now. I'm not strong enough to really help her, but at least I can tell you're okay. Well, see you later, Mario. Twink did not tell us the thing that Peach wanted. Oh, wait. Oh dear, I almost forgot to tell you the message from Princess Peach. I'm alright, so don't worry about me. That's exactly what she said. I get the feeling, though, that she's very lonely. Anyway, I'll do my best to help the both of you. But please be brave, you must save Princess Peach. There he goes, back to Bowser's castle. What a brave little guy. Okay, Mario. Let's get down to business. Indeed. Mario. Merlin was looking for you. He lives in the house with the spinning roof. He asked me to tell you to go meet him at his house. I was just about to go look for you, but here you are. It's rare for Merlin to call somebody over to his house. He's a bit eccentric, even when he has visitors. It's rare for him to come out of the house at all. Oh, 
the? Why is someone sleeping in front of my house? Wait a minute, that face seems very familiar to me. Oh, maybe, no, yes, it must be. You're Mario. I've been waiting for you. You should have come earlier. Well, you're here now. Come on. Hello, Mario. Where to begin? My name is Merlin. I am a wizard. When I was reading the stars the other day, an oracle came to me. What I discovered is very important and it concerns you. Before I tell you about it, there are other things of which I must speak. Very long story, but I'll try to shorten it. Where should I start? It was in the old days. One of my ancestors was up on Shooting Star Summit as, as usual. But one day it happened. Suddenly, a great appeared nigh, standing face to face. And far away, the pious was raised me up. It was amazing. I was still so young then. I believed in, but our hearts were... And then, so... Blah, 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 blah. And that is all that matters. Huh? Hey. Mario, were you listening to me? Oh, alright. So anyways, that is why I'm able to help you. If you get lost during your adventure, you can come to me. I can predict the path that you should take for a small price. Right now, your main goal must be to save Princess Peach as quickly and as, hu as humanly possible, but... In my second sight, your path must first take you to the great forestress of the Koopa Bros. To reach the Koopa Bros Fortress, head east on the road in front of the Toad House. Okay. I'll be sure to do that. You don't want to go there, it's way too dangerous. Going to Koopa Bros Fortress would be a huge mistake. Definitely, definitely don't go. Most of all, though, you shouldn't go and ask old man Merlin for help. That'd be really bad news for us. I mean, for you. Don't even think about it. Alright, so go talk to Merlin, then. Merlin! There's some asshole blocking the path. Come again. Strange toad blocking the east side of Toad Town. That shouldn't be. That's ridiculous. Never has such a thing as... It's such a thing as I've never heard of. Never, never, never. I get to the bottom of this. Follow me over there. I'll see what's going on. Are these the strange toads you were talking about? I told you that you can't pass. Take off. Hm. You aren't toads, are you? Um, we don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, what gives? Ask anyone. We're just cute, ordinary toads hanging out. Reveal your true selves. Bula boo. Ah. Hm. Just as I thought. You're the Koopa Bros. How, how'd you guess it was us? We were perfectly disguised. Shucks. Black, yellow, green. We retreat. But now. Mario. Those imposters were none other, none other than the Koopa Bros. We must be pursued into their hideout, the Koopa Bros Fortress. Oh, Mario. There's one part of your fortune I haven't revealed. To get the Koopa Bros Fortress, you'll need help from a blue-shelled Koopa. This is a strange portent. In Koopa Village, you might find something that will clear it up. You must return home now. Goodbye, Mario. Mario's gonna fucking kill them? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Chapter 1. The epic chapter 1. Stomping some poopers. 
Just like his idol, Chris Pratt. You know, Chris Pratt was talking about specifically this game when he, uh, when he did that interview. He said the original Mario Bros, but he meant to say the original Paper Mario. Yeah, you get it. Yeah, of course I get it. I will say I have also been playing like a little bit of Mario 64 on on Switch Online, and man, oh man, Mario 64 is good. I mean, I've said I, I played it on the 3D All Stars previously, but like, it's still good. I kind of think that if they just put straight ported it, I think it'd be a bit better received. I don't know when you like upscale the textures and shit, people kind of get a different feel of it, you know. It's not authentic. I mean, no, but this isn't either, you know? But playing this, it makes it only a little more authentic just due to the fact that, um, it is, it's at the very least the, like, direct ROM just being plopped on Switch Online. Which, I mean, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, right? I've said it in the past, I've said in the past that I don't think Switch Online is worth it, but because that was because I was looking at the family plan, which is like a hundred dollars up here. Which is like... Eight to- I, th I don't remember exactly, it's like eight to twelve people. I think it's eight. Eight people can get access to like... Three game DLCs... And... Like five or six virtual consoles with... Massive libraries each. Of like really desirable games to play. And, I don't know. I, I got the individual membership, and that's like sixty-seven dollars, and I think that's, I think that's way more worth it, especially compared to like PlayStation or Xbox. That's just my opinion. Yeah. That's my own subjective thing. It helps that these are all like games that I'd be more willing to play than like anything in the PlayStation or Xbox catalog. I'd love to get an N sixty-four authentically though, just to have a physical copy of the original Paper Mario. I have uh, three out of the, the fuck. I have three out of the five Paper Mario, or three out of the six. 64, TTYD, Super, Color Splash, Sticker Star. One TT, Super, Sticker Star, Color Splash, or I have three out of the like seven Paper Mario game that's, games that are out there. I guess he really can't do much, will. Ah, I guess we could have healed Mark. Oh well. Actually, he can't- he can't even use items. Free card, get me the fuck out of here. I'm a big fan, either way, I'm a big fan of um, playing shit on authentic hardware. Or as close to authentic hardware as I can get, and unfortunately at the moment, this is as close to authentic as I, as I can get. Oh, 
I'm kind of playing like a dangerous game here. So I, th I feel like um, they, they, they're fucking up by not putting the older Pokemon games on here. I don't know why they wouldn't. Can I be? Are you Mario? Welcome to Koopa Village. I wish we could really welcome you, but we're in big trouble. Can't you see what kind of madness is going on? This village is in an uproar because of the fuzzies. You do know what fuzzies are, right? They're like, don't you, Mario? They look like this. Mean guys, they're really naughty. Oh no, he naked. those games for 60 bucks a pop I mean yeah I'm not a fan of their pricing but man I just can't say no I can't say no to Mario Galaxy on the on the switch and I mean at the time right $80 for me $60 for you so like whatever 60 divided by 3 would be 20, I guess. $20 per for Mario 64, Mario Galaxy, and Mario Sunshine versus from what I what I looked into at the time, it was like 100 for Mario 64, depending on the person, 80 for Mario Sunshine, and 50 for Mario Galaxy on, from resellers, because resellers are Objectively worse than Nintendo is. Like I'll I'll gladly pay Nintendo's prices if that if that's the way they want it. Cause I just I hate resellers so much. Resellers do some of the fucking scummiest shit on the planet. Scalpers Lamont? Yeah. 
Scalpel, scalpers, resellers, stupid collectors that buy like 50 copies of the same game. Like, I keep seeing this one Twitter account where it's like, yeah, I bought one copy of the new Switch game, but they sent me like 10, and I'm like, oh, okay, this happens to you consistently enough that I just think you're buying 10 copies. I don't know, it sucks that the Nintendo, the Nintendo community kind of gets a bad rap because the Nintendo fans are super annoying. Yeah, now they're lying out of their ass now? Yeah, I mean, that's the thing is that I saw them, they ordered Mario and Luigi Brothership, they ordered one copy, allegedly they got ten. Mario Wonder, they ordered one copy, they got like ten. Mario Thousand Year Door. They ordered one copy, they got like 10, and I'm just like, okay, this happens to you consistently enough where I think you're just buying 10 to flex on people. No way they would be sent 10 even though they were one. If it was like a once, if it was a one-time thing, I'd be like, you know, okay, you know what? I've heard of some like weird Amazon or like online order shit. I've heard some real weird stories about that, so you know, I can... I can excuse once, but I don't know, three times? That's a pattern. That's a pattern if you ask me. Okay, I gotta, I gotta focus, I can't read chat. Guess where I'm hiding. Four, three, two, three, two, one, two, one, two. Bonk. That was just a warm up. Guess where I'm hiding. Two, one, two, three, two, three, four, three, four, three, two. Bonk. Must have been luck, now I fear you. Two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, two, three, one. Usually it's randomized. It's not supposed to uh, be the same one three times in a row. Though I don't remember. It's been a while. Mario, there you are. I realized I have to take a stand against these fuzzies. If I can't get my own shell, I'll lose my reputation. I don't even care that I have no shell. I'm gonna show these fuzzies what's what. I already got the shell back, though. There you go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's my shell, alright. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I got my shell back. Uh-uh. You're the greatest, Mario. How are you? Big time. Good to hear you're happy. Hey Mario, I have an idea. You happen to know Professor Colorado? Naturally, he's a Koopa who's a professor of archaeology. He's also known as an explorer. Right, well I live next to him. I've been a minor of Cl Professor Cl Colorado ever since I was in my egg. Nothing would make me happier than traveling the world solving mysteries like he does. So do you think, could I please take me with you Mario? I'll help. Come on, let me go. Yeah, we'll take him, why not? Oh yeah, yeah, I'm on my way. I swear, I, Cooper, will follow you anywhere, even to the ends of the earth. Cooper joined your party. Press down to make him throw himself and reach an item or switch in the distance. On the battle, he can attack an enemy on the ground with shell toss, or attack all enemies on the ground with power shell. When you want to switch your partner, press left and select the member you want to use. Mjork? I changed my mind, sucker. How about a fight? They want to just- this is very clearly them just showing off what the, uh, partners do.
I've always been bad at figuring out when the uh when to block for these guys. In, in every game, in every Paper Mario too, not just not just this one. Hey, it's the quiz guy. Cow Wiz, Chuck Quizmo is the name and quizzes of my game. You want quizzes? I got them. If you can manage to answer my brain busting questions correctly, then. Yeah, yeah, yahoo! I'll give you a star piece. Want to try a quiz? What is the name of Gumbara's younger sister? Umbaria. Correct. Congratulations. Here's your star piece. You've correctly answered one question so far. Good luck next time. Well, well. So long. Farewell till we meet again. And there he goes. Got Cooper. Now we can go to the Koopa Fortress and then immediately get up get the a new partner. Oh yeah, I still haven't healed. when I get the chance I'm just gonna do like a big controller purchase binge and buy a bunch of like fucking extra controllers for myself because I have 
I only have one Switch controller, really, outside of my Joy-Cons, but I don't really like using them. Uh, I only have one Switch controller and one Xbox controller, and I have, like, no controllers for playing PC games, even though that's the way that I prefer playing pretty much all of my games. If a game has controller support, I typically try and go for that. Except for shooter games, I don't like playing shooter games on a controller. Goomba did not stand a chance yet. I still haven't healed, am I stupid? It's only 77 coins. Only a couple of coins, I, I got this. It's kind of funny to me how like tan Mario is in this game, comparatively to like every other installment. Alright, there we go. Got some space. He, he do got some space. No entry allowed, Mario. Yeah, damn. Specifically calling me out on this.
Ooh, we're close to leveling up again, baby boys. Fuck. Keep getting boinked by that. Don't like that. Fuck. I overheld it. can do more attacks. What the? I'm worrying for a world of hurt. Mario's here already. I gotta tell the T. I gotta tell the leader. Red Koopa. <coughs> That's what I think. Dumbass.
Geek Mario. If you don't try, you'll never find your way. I didn't really know that. I didn't know that you could do that. Heart boxes and continue on.
I'll be right back. I'll be right back, guys. I'm gonna go get some water really quickly. Hey, do you guys wanna know something funny about that BRB screen? The uh the we'll be right back is actually in that blender render. It's it's not a it's not text put on after the fact, it's in the blender render. It's like an object in the scene. <laughs> Same with the uh broadcasting coming. All that stuff. It's all it's all all the text is in the scene. Weird little piece of trivia, but that's the way that I did it. It's pretty cool, yo, yes, but it's also kind of like a waste of resources, if I'm being honest. Ah, well, not really. It's actually a saving file space, but I don't know. It's just a, it's just a little piece of trivia that I had in the back of my brain. Because it would have been easier to uh, just render out the rotating broadcast tower with, and then put the text over the top over top of it later. But I didn't want to do that, so I just put the text in the scene and just tracked it to the camera so that it every wherever the camera turned, because it's not. It's not that the broadcast tower is turning, it's that the camera is turning around the broadcast tower. That's how you get the space, the star sky out there. Also, welcome back, Bobo. Yeah, it doesn't take me very long to get up. It's just water. Get down from there.
Let's fucking go. I think I might just have to go back to the town and get fucking items for a real quick sec. Just because I'm kind of doing a little badly. I don't know why, but I'm sitting here eating dinner and was thinking about the time when Gordon Ramsay blocked the woman when she added her to rate her meal. The pick was a hot dog with toothpaste on it. I don't know why that popped up. It fucked if I know. The human brain works in mysterious ways. But I think Gordon Ramsay's in the right for that. I thought it was funny. It it it's something alright. should be good for the rest of the game.
He's gonna beat the Nick game now, chat. First time playing, by the way. He's just really lucky. Yeah, first time playing, yeah. Yeah, first time playing, yeah. First time. I mean, kind of. But I'm being honest, kind of. Entirely. I've uh, I've played the first couple of chapters and then I've like through emulation and shit. And every time I've played it, I've kind of dropped it after a bit because I don't know. It doesn't hit the same way the Thousand Year Door did. And now this is like my first time where I'm like, okay, I'm gonna actually beat it this time for realsies. Because I beat paper, I beat Thousand Year Door on stream. Obviously, I can scale my nose super well. If I want to be the Paper Mario guy, you know. There was this guy named Strider7x who made Paper Mario videos and he was fucking deliciously good at them. He talked about really, in really interesting shit about Paper Mario. Like the mechanics and the actual, like, fundamental game design about it and shit. And then his girlfriend had, or one of his. He got caught in like a controversy where his like ex accused him of a bunch of like horrible shit and it turned out it was like all false and he just left the internet and I'm just like man fuck why do you why 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 do you have to go he was good he was the he was like one of the th he was one of the paper mario youtubers that I liked I, all the others are annoying like no hate to arlo right I get the gimmick, it's a cool gimmick. But I'm not gonna fucking lie to him. <laughs> He's kind of annoying. It was like all of the guys that make being like Thousand Year Door fanatics their entire brand. Most of the time is that they're fucking annoying. Except for Strider 7X, he was one of the few times where I was like, okay, he's actually like a fan of the game and wants to discuss it as a piece of media and as a as an actual game not just sucking it off because it's paper mario and it's one of the like few good nintendo consistently good nintendo series and by consistently good i mean consistently good gamecube series so i'm not gonna lie the gamecube as much as i like the gamecube it wasn't very good as a console it did not have a good library it had a lot of, like, kind of shitty shovelware third-party library shit. Damn indeed. It was, a uh, tragic. Okay, this is perfect, I think. Whoa, it looks like Mario's here. And yeah, you know, I'm not gonna lie, Strider 7X, he was never a very popular creator because he was so in-depth with his Mario videos. He People may have seen his videos. It, it was the guy that did like the, uh, he was most best known for the, um, hitting this block X number of days in Paper Mario breaks the game, like crashes the game. That's what he was like best known for. That was like one of his most popular videos. But, um, yeah. Got exposed for stuff that wasn't entirely true. 
and as a result, he's left the internet and he's made no signs of returning as far as I'm aware. If he has, then I'm none the wiser, but like that. It said this. watching your fucking video. Best friend Kate got this new game called Web Fishing and is attempting to play Megalovania in it and I don't know why. I've seen some stuff about it. it, looks like a chill game. It looks like it's a lot of fun. I love fishing games. I like fish. Uh, I just don't have money to buy it right now. On account that I bought Switch Online. <laughs> Dumbest, smartest bomb on alert. Smart, smartest bomb on moment. Listen, the money is just regenerating slowly. You're right. I have to wait a little bit. Smartest bomb mom didn't realize that they could just explode right next to the crack in the wall. Smartest bomb mom, everybody. What's all that noise? KC bomb moms forgot exploding is prohibited inside the fortress except in the case of emergencies. What in the Mario? What are you doing here? Nothing good, I bet. Everybody get him. Get him. Get him. Look at all my items. This is a powwow block. Uh oh. Well, I doubt their brains are big. I mean, they don't have a lot of headroom. Well, I mean, yeah, plus they do that. They get slightly angry and then they die. If you're familiar with like that one really fucked up picture of the anatomy of a car for Disney Pixar's cars, I want that but for a bomb on. I want the anatomy of a bomb on.
got hit by the first strike, guys. I'm so sad. To, uh, I have to do some shit first. Damn, Mario just took that explosion like a champ. Yes, he did. He's a big old boy. That's why we love Mario here, is that he tackles bullets, bombs, lamp oil, and ropes like it's nothing. Oh yeah, that's it. It's down there. Stupid. Light work, no reaction. True. I know I seem to to spin around a lot. It's just because it's just a little faster than the standard movement speed. Plus, it's just really fun. The little jump is so that I retain momentum. Quite darn fun. I do it on the freeway. I'm sure you do, Super. Trader champ. No, fuck. I was like, no, please don't let me fall. Please don't let me fall. Please don't let me fall. So mean to me? Well, stop being so easy to bully then. It's kind of fucking easy to, to just not have anything for me to bully you with.
Oh, don't cry, Super. Actually, yes, do cry. It's funny to me. <laughs> Isn't that Kakato? <gasps> Instead of being a yapper, you're now a sobber. Because you cry so much. And then Kakata, what comes after D? What the fuck am I doing wrong here? But yes, I'm stupid. Yeah, I keep thinking it's like Thousand Year Door where Bobbery like can go over ledges, you know, like you know, physics, like you know, you can throw Bobbery a little higher. I didn't realize that Bombette was a fucking BBW, 300 pound, big beautiful woman. Mario can barely lift up and throw. BBW warriors will always protect her. Yeah. I mean, that's that's good for you. And yeah. Oh shit! Fine, I'll fucking heal. Pull off my ass about it. you'd make it this far. Ah, shit. Don't get smug, pal. You just caught us off guard. Trust me, we'll mop the floor with you if we get serious. We're as cool as they come. Ugh. house thing. Yeah. 
they keep sending me clips of the web fishing game and I'm like, man, I really, I wouldn't mind getting that game, to be honest. I know I recognized it somewhere, I just can't remember where. no matter what. Not fun. Blah, 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 blah. All right now I can change the party member to Bombette and make it actually worth something using. These guys. so fast. This just means that I'll have to avoid uh, FP if you in a couple of level ups.
Okay, boss fight. Oh, I'm sorry, I just completely zoned out for a bit. Guys, it's Bowser. But it's Bowser, guys. Bowser. Bows are all right. Oh no, that costume was perfect. Bowser loved it. All right. Uh, if you looked closely at Bowser's shell, you could see a picture of Peach inside it. Here comes the Koopa Bros. Man, doesn't this thing kind of give you, give off a certain vibe? Like a... Like, um, or perhaps a, uh... Uh, an adolescent... Abomination... Samurai tortoise of some kind? something specific that I don't know. Yeah. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm sure it's nothing. Actually, it does sound a lot like the punch-out theme. Tell them all individually. So I gotta head out now, it's almost 8 p.m. I'll catch you later. You're gonna do your own stream now? I'll total super have fun doing whatever you stream.
Thank you, enjoy your Paper Mario, bro. I will, baby boy. Have fun, totals. There you go, 32 star points. Easy as pie. Hey, oh, Princess Peach. Hey, hello, somebody let us out of here. Alright. I guess I have like a game plan. Still, six star spirits remain in prison and they must save them as quickly as they can. The future of the Mushroom Kingdom, Star Haven, of course, Princess Peach, lies in the hands of Mario and his new friends. Their adventure has just begun. Save and continue. We'll do the Princess Peach stuff and then, uh, move on to some else.
He'll be alright, princess. Why, well, I bet he's saving some star spirits right now. Yeah, you're right, Twinkus. I must be strong. I need to concentrate on finding a way out of here. There are tons of guards just behind your door. And it's impossible for you to escape through the window. Oh, wait a minute. I remember the minister telling me there's a secret passage out of this room. Twink, help me look for it. Cool, great idea. Right there. Oh, there's something behind this painting. Yeah, cool. Let's get the fuck out of here. Question. Hey, look at this. Looks like someone left a private diary just writing, lying around. Should we read it? Oh, you like doing this sort of thing, do you? Look at them very quietly. Let's see. Day zero zero, month whatever, sunny. Today I went to Star Haven and stole the star ride. Now I'm invincible. Cool. I also captured those seven star spirits so they won't annoy me anymore. It was a hard day's work and I'm feeling pretty bushed. Dinner was nice, but a bit bland. I feel like I might know the person who wrote this. Should we read more? Okay, let's continue. Day whatever. Cloudy then sunny. Today was great, Diary. I used to, I used my castle to lift Princess Peach's castle way up into the sky. And I barged into Peach's castle and beat up Mario. Yeah, unbelievable. I know. So fun. And there's more. After that, I kidnapped Princess Peach. I couldn't be happier, Diary. I hope she likes me, Teehee. Princess Peach, this is Bowser's Diary. Ugh. What do we do? Should we read more? Yeah, of course. Day whatever. Oh, well, the Koopa Bros got beaten by Mario, Diary. He even set free that stupid star spirit I kept there. I'm so mad I can barely write. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so big and strong and good and helpful. I hate him, but I'm not worried. There's no way Mario can save the star spirit being held in the dry, dry ruins. To do that, he'll have to solve the mystery of the sands and then find dry, dry ruins in the dry, dry desert. How do we even know to go to the desert anyway? So I'm not worried at all. In fact, I'm so calm I'm going to go to bed now. Bleh. Dry Dry Ruins is in the middle of the Dry Dry Desert. One of the revered sp star spirits is being held there. Twink, do you think you can find Mario and tell him that? Yeah, of course. I'll find Mario right away. Good. It'd be so embarrassing if someone read that thing. <laughs> What's the princess doing here? Ah, you little sneak. You read my diary. Come on, Princess, back to the room. King Bowser, is that a problem? You're the worst guards ever. Take Princess Peach back to her room immediately. Yes, sir, straight away. Forgive us, sir. No, put me down. I don't like this. I'm being touched in ways I don't like. Mario, I believe you'll save us all. From the bottom of my heart, I appreciate what all you've done. Thank you. Since you freed me from my prison, the seal on my power is broken, and I will recover it little by little. As long as I, uh, an ounce of power remains in me, I shall help you. Whee! These guys got reused at Mario Party. Mario can now use the Star Spirit's power in battle. Using a Star power requires Star Energy. Would you like to listen to how it's a blah blah blah? No. I'm good. I'm good. Alright, listen carefully. You must save the other star spirits quickly. If seven of us come together, we'll be able to bestow upon you a star power called the Star Beam. The star Beam is the only thing that counteracts the star rod that Bowser wields. I have to go back now, back to Star Haven. I must leave immediately, but I will always be watching you. So it was all Mario. Hello, Mario. Alright, we'll be right back with, uh, no. Breadstream's broadcasts air exclusively on Twitch.tv. Under terms of use provided by 
Twitch. Breadstreams dedicates itself to showcasing and documenting only the finest video game content available on the web. We hope you've enjoyed the broadcast presented here on Breadstreams, and we hope to see you the next time we air. We invite you now to indulge in the Breadstreams archive, where you will find many past broadcasts over on YouTube. This is Bread T. Lovington, bidding you a good day, week, month, and year.